Welcome to our lecture online. Next, we're going to ask the question, how do we subtract polynomials? And the simple answer is, we turn the subtraction into an addition, and then we do the same as if we were adding polynomials. Hmm, that seems like a good way to go about it, but how do we do that? Well, here we have two polynomials. We have our first polynomial, we have our second polynomial, and it's subtracted from the first polynomial, indicated by this negative sign. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that negative sign and apply it to each of the term inside the second polynomial. We're going to apply it to this sign, to this sign, to this sign, to this sign, and to this sign. In other words, a negative times a negative gives us a positive. So we simply replace it then by a positive 2x to the fourth and so forth. On the first polynomial, we can simply remove the parentheses because they are not needed. There's not a negative sign in front of it, so we can simply remove them. They were simply placed there to indicate that's our first polynomial, that is our second polynomial, and there we're going to subtract the second one from the first one. So this can now be rewritten as x to the fourth minus 3x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x plus 4 and then a minus times a minus gives us a plus 2x to the fourth. A minus times a minus gives us plus x cubed. A minus times a plus gives us a minus, oop, I forgot the 3, 3x squared. A minus times a plus gives us a minus 5x. And a minus times a minus gives us a plus 2. And now it simply becomes an addition. We simply simplify by adding the same terms together. Again, start with the highest term and combine like terms. So notice the highest term here is x to the fourth power. We have one term here, we have one term there, so we can add those together. 1x to the fourth plus 2x to the fourth is 3x to the fourth. We can now get rid of those two because we've already used them. Now we have two x to the third terms. We have this one here and this one there. Minus 3x to the third plus 1x to the third gives us minus 2x to the third, and now these terms can be ignored. Next, we have x to the second power. Notice we have a 2x squared and a minus 3x squared plus 2. Minus 3 is a minus 1x squared, and now the x squared terms have been combined. Next, x to the first power. We have a minus 5x and a minus 5x. That's minus 10x. So now these have been taken care of, and finally, the zero terms, plus 4, plus 2 is plus 6, the constant term, and now we have the equivalent subtraction, the second polynomial subtracted from the first one, we turn into an addition, we add all like terms, and that is the result of that subtraction, and that is how it's done.